Arsenal, Phantom Forces, Counter Blocks, you must have heard of one of these player monopolized games. They all have a common factor to monetize their game into a huge amount of Robux by doing traditional FPS game money earning method. And I'm here to briefly show you how you can start making your Roblox FPS game and convert your effort into Robux. A gun is the core item of an FPS game. So I have a task for you. I've made this simple gun on Roblox Studio in under an hour using simple values, raycasting, etc. I want you to either make one yourself using the script explanation on our website or simply grab the file and then follow the content of this video to step further to success. For those who already have something you made or scripted, you may also continue watching the video. With this based core item, you can now expand the idea. This is where most people make mistakes. You must understand that it's not just you who upload games to Roblox. But instead, thousands and thousands of games are uploaded every day. The supply is way higher than the demand since some games have a deficient number of visits and zero active users. Excess supply is happening on the platform and most of the players are monopolized by huge Roblox FPS game companies. According to Roblox statistics published in 2022 and Wikipedia, Roblox users are producing 20 million games per year and only 1,000 games successfully break the 10,000 visits or more. The supply might be enough to flood Roblox, but the quality games are not, so you must add value to your FPS game in case to convert your effort into Robux. You must make a unique creation that is not like the other FPS games to add value to your game. It can be either focusing on high quality, trends, unique ideas, or etc. Let's go back to the iconic samples, Arsenal and Counter Blocks. These two games successfully represent two different unique gameplays on Roblox and monopolized the FPS games category for a while. Therefore, you must think of a new idea to monopolize a specific theme, or at least find a less competitive niche to stabilize your position on that theme like maybe aim training. The airsoft type of game showed us a good example already. After you have your game, you must do marketing on it since nearly nobody will recognize your work if nobody ever sees it. 90% of the Roblox creators are most likely struggling on this topic because they don't know how to spread information. Personally, I'm not a game making guy, but I kind of accidentally earned 5,000 visits and a bricksmith beached with exorbitantly low effort. Let me explain. I made some tutorials years ago and put the model in an uncopyloft place. It didn't require them to play the game, but it attracted people to play it. And this is the power of YouTube. By now, you can upload your content with good search engine optimization to advertise your game. It could be devlogs, showcase, for etc. Your video will eventually blow up if your video can impress people. My honest suggestion is to learn from high quality channels. For me, Super Prime, Afton, JHXC64, for etc. produce high quality content, so I learned from them to produce more high quality content for more impressions and try to learn skills to enhance your video. Moreover, with the video you got, you can advertise it in a lot of ways. For example, advertising Discord servers, sending them to influencers using Twitter DM or email. Influencers will most likely visit your game if the game suits their content. They need content and you need impressions. That's a win-win situation, but you still need to compete with the others. The final goal for you might be earning Robux. But how is the problem? You don't have to worry that no one will buy your game passes in the first place, because you can still earn premium payout, although it's not the main path you're going to follow. Let me use my tutorial games as an example again. I accidentally earned some visits, so I also accidentally got some premium payout too. I hope this can reduce the pressure on you, so you can focus on making something extraordinary instead of over-concerning on no Robux to earn. If you have an ordinary game, you can 100% guaranteed to be able to earn Robux. So it's time to tell you what's the common factor those huge FPS games have made them able to earn an enormous amount of Robux, and how you can break out of the box and earn even more than them. Case opening. Do you guess it correctly? They all have a common factor that lets player pay for a thing repeatedly because their brain will release dopamine after they got something good and making them continually to spend money on the game. It's like gambling but legally on games. 
other than the old-fashioned way, we can learn some new ways from some big game companies outside of Roblox, such as selling in-game advertisements, like selling advertisements bots, freemium games, for etc. If your game is high quality enough, you can consider make it pay the assess or do something like selling DLCs. At the end of the day, patience and experimentation are the main keys to success. Don't be jealous of people who succeed. They have most likely experienced all the best situations you are experiencing, and their success might not be as perfect as you think. There are still more things to learn.